Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I will be covering the topic of TCAS. TCAS is a feature that was released recently in RFS with its update 2.5.5. So let's see how this TCAS works. In order to even uh, look at the TCAS system or to switch modes of the TCAS system, you first need to start a flight. Once you start the flight, you will be able to find the TCAS system under the functionality of aircraft systems. One, select the aircraft systems and on the left hand side corner you will see the option of TCAS. Select the TCAS option and you will see three different modes standby, traffic advisory, traffic and resolution advisory. Now let's look at each option in detail. We will start with the standby mode. So basically the standby mode in RFS does not show you any details about the oncoming aircraft. As you will notice in the navigation panel, there are no diamonds or dots indicating any aircraft or traffic. Uh, of course, there is a lot more when it is on set on standby mode in real life. But in terms of RFS and for the concept of RFS, it only means that you are turning it off. Now, let's look at the traffic advisory mode when you turn on the traffic advisory mode as you can notice a diamond appears on the screen that is an indication that an aircraft is passing by you and it basically shows the traffic in the vicinity all right so now let's see the tcas traffic advisory system in action right now we will be going near an oncoming aircraft and as you will notice as we turn and proceed towards the oncoming aircraft we will receive a warning which says traffic traffic as you can see appear on the top right hand side corner this is what traffic advisory is it will only advise you of traffic now let's look at the traffic ad traffic advisory and resolution advisory mode so in this traffic advisory and resolution advisory mode you will notice that the system not only alerts you for traffic but it will also provide you corrective actions as you will notice once we reach closer to this particular oncoming aircraft uh, we will also receive a warning to maintain the vertical speed now when we receive a warning of maintaining the vertical speed it basically means that you need to maintain either climbing or descending or whatever phase you are currently in so now as you see that maintain vertical speed warning show up i am currently descending so i should maintain the same vertical speed and i should descend in order to avoid collision and traffic so this is how the traffic avoidance and resolution uh, system works so these are the three different modes that are available for the tcas in rfs one will one is just a complete turn off and you don't need any advice second is just an warning of traffic and third is along with resolution i hope this video was useful and helpful uh, if you did like the video and the content of the video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching